Okay, look at me hand it's your boy Dio. I am back in the Tesla with another video. So I am actually conducting a little experiment. I mean, I've already conducted it. I want to share my findings with you all. Um, I have about 33 miles left on my commute. Um, nice stretch of road, you know, it's just all highway. So perfect timing to kind of show my findings and, and actually give you guys some concrete, you know, proof of what I found. So I'll get right into it, guys. So as you, well, let me start from the beginning. So if you guys don't know, um, Teslas have this autopilot feature where if you get the full 12, which is now $15,000 feature, the car drives itself, basically. Um, I have the basic autopilot, which all it does is kind of it keeps its own lane i have to signal to change lanes and um that's basically it i mean it takes it takes all the curves and everything by itself but uh it doesn't stop at stoplights that sort of thing like if you want full automation you got to pay the money for it this one comes he's already asking for my hand input you kind of have to have your hand um or either leave your hand rested there for the long for the whole time or just every you know few seconds just kind of put it on there so i want to i made some discoveries and um you know i want to kind of show you guys so basically if you do have a tesla then you've seen something like this this is like a a counterweight it's it's a big paperweight that actually attaches to the steering wheel to almost mimic the weight of your hand now the only problem with uh, something like that is that can't fool the system anymore now it i think the system knows it's not your hand and no matter what you still have to kind of put your hand on it and these things aren't cheap man this this cost me like 90 dollars on etsy um and i got it as soon as i got the car because i was going on a long trip and long and behold i couldn't use it so believe me i was super disappointed so instead of having a 90 dollar paperweight i just started to kind of play around with the system and see if i could make it you know usable um so that i don't you know have just wasted money there so anyway so i did right and um i'm gonna put my hand now and just kind of keep a timer right it's 606 p.m i want to i want to see how long with nothing on the steering wheel how long it takes for it to ask me to put my hand so let's just see how long So it's already asking me. So I would say about 30 seconds. That's about not even 30 seconds. A little, a little less than 30 seconds. But I'll probably have the timer on the video. Now, so now what I'll do is I'll put the weight where it's supposed to go, which is right here, and let's, let's see how long it takes for it to ask. So let me, um, yeah, let me do that right now. All right. So I got the weight on. I'm still holding it. I'm gonna nudge it a little bit, and now I'm gonna let go. So let's see how long it takes. about a minute and 40 seconds now that may be good for you know just cruising you know shorter distances um, so now it's requesting me to take over fully so that that might be good for long distances but if you're driving a lot of miles like I am a day I'm driving about um, my commute it's about 130 miles uh, total right so like 50 miles or 55 miles going some some miles in the city and then another 55 coming back so it does take a while so for me every minute it's not good enough right plus i had a trip see and it's it's random too so now it just asked me in 
almost 30 seconds to put my hand. So it, it just varies, right? I didn't want to deal with that. So I started playing around with this weight and I think I found the perfect spot to put it on. So let me put it in position now. All right, guys, so, so basically all I did was take the weight from this side and cover here to this side, but almost sticking out a little bit. And um, I found in my testing that this position itself gives you unlimited time. Yes, you've heard it right, unlimited autopilot. Um, and I've tested this, I went on a trip to um, Ocean City, Maryland with the family during Labor Day. And during these long stretches of highway, I literally put my hand on the steering wheel zero times. Only when I needed to take over for changing lanes or whatever the case might be. But if I was just going straight, it was not asking me for anything. So, um, but don't take my word for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to the test now, as you can see. Autopilot is disengaged and let's start it out. guys that was over I mean over three minutes and not even one prompt to put my hand out there so you can test this out yourself with your if you have a weight just laying there at home that you thought was not usable anymore go give it a try so now I am leaving out a, a, a crucial piece to the puzzle because if you go try this out you're gonna come back on the video and say yo man give me false information because this doesn't work so it does work but here's the thing a lot of you guys when you get home you leave the weight on the steering wheel right you go home you charge it you come back to the car you turn the car on and I have a feeling that the car when you turn it on it does some some sort of diagnostic so since it senses that there's some weight to it already, right? Now you need additional weight to counteract that, I guess, that balance, right? So the trick to make this all work is to simply take this off when you get home. That's it. When you park the car at home, just take it off. Simple as that. Take it off, put it, put it down. When you get back in the car, turn the car on fully right turn it on fully meaning put it on drive and then put the weight on even if you're not using it just put the weight on and set it and forget it right but when you turn the car off again just put it out right so that is the piece of the puzzle that i, I didn't mention in the beginning because during my trial period I, trust me i i've tried different so many different combinations and if i left this on it wouldn't work no matter what i tried it just didn't work i'm like hmm, let me see if maybe taking it off and then turning the car on start driving and then putting it on if it works and lo and behold that was the trick so guys if you have something similar at home like a counterweight that you just don't use anymore because you just thought it didn't work go ahead bring it back out try it out um and then just comment on the comment section below let me know if it worked or not for you um again just a reminder you have to not have this on the car when you turn it on so just put it after you turn it on or you start driving and it should work um, but yeah guys let me know what what your success story was um, if it did work or did not and um, yeah man make sure to like and subscribe 
And if it didn't work for you, make sure to please, if you can, share the video to others that um, do have Teslas and, and might not, you know, or, or might just have like a $90 weight just sitting at home doing nothing. So, um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. And uh, yeah, happy driving. Take it easy, guys. Bye.